This is Luc Thomas from Lyon, France. Although you are very good in uh, treating and diagnosing lesions of the skin, when it comes to palms and soles and when it comes to nails, then you are a little frightened to uh, make your job um, diagnosing and uh, taking samples appears to be much more difficult in these areas. Of course, you know that in some disease limited to palms and soles, you need to have a biopsy to identify some inflammatory disorders like eczema. You know perfectly well that some cases of lichen planus of the nail unit needs biopsy. They require biopsy because you're going to uh, initiate a treatment by methotrexate, for example, and this treatment is toxic, is needed for many months, and you need to be sure that you're treating the right disease. Alopecia areata is also a nail condition that can be only affecting the nails with no impact on hairs, like in this patient. And in that case, you need to be sure that you are dealing with alopecia areata and not another disease to choose the best appropriate treatment. There are many inflammatory diseases on palms and soles and nails that requires a histopathological diagnosis, but there are also many infectious diseases on palms and soles and nails that would require a biopsy also. Of course, there are many uh, situations on the nail that are induced by trauma. There are many tumors on nail units, on palms and soles, and some of them are benign, but some of them are malignant. And you want to know in what patient you need to perform a biopsy and how to perform that biopsy. You need to know also that there are alternatives to uh, surgery in front of any kind of dermatosis, uh, infection, trauma-induced disorder, or tumor on the extremities. And these alternatives are, of course, thorough examination of the entire skin and mucous membrane of the patient to diagnose psoriasis, alopecia areata, lichen planus, for example. But you know also that dermoscopy offers an interesting alternative to biopsy in many conditions, especially benign. You know that digital dermoscopy can be used also to avoid surgery uh, of uh, benign conditions and that imaging can be used in many patients. But you sometimes forget that you, we have an important ally in the uh, podologist in the management of uh, nail disorders. Uh, many of them are due to trouble in the static of the foot. Many of them can be fixed by simple techniques performed by podologists. And this is also an interesting alternative to surgery. Microbiology is also interesting, but you need to remember that, in fact, a fungal infection of the nail requires much more a biopsy than microbiology tests. So this is why we will review all the indications of biopsy on acral sites, palms and soles, and nails. We will see how to get a good biopsy to identify inf uh, inflammatory diseases, for example, on the nails, but also on palms and soles. We will see what is the best method to clearly histopathologically identify malignant tumors of the nail unit, like melanoma and squamous cell carcinoma. And of course, you will know how to do it yourself and not refer all these patients to uh, highly trained specialists. So if you want to know all that, how to do this, How to do this, if you want to know what are the usual accidents you can have with this kind of surgery, please attend our meeting, uh, uh, masterclass biopsies on acral sites. I wish to see you there. Thank you very much.